Hey guys, what's up? Hope you enjoy it. Because of the back with another exciting video tutorial. So, in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can create dust effect from the Avengers movie inside the Cinema 4D Art 1 without using any plugin. So, let me show you what we're gonna create. <laughs> Here we're gonna recreate this scene. So let's open the Cinema 4D. So I also uh, attach the project file under the description. You can download it from Gumroad. So if you want to donate, so it's player for me. So let's start. I already create a new project with same structure. So first we need to create. It all start with the material. So Material is really important for this. So we create a new material and assign on our 3D object. So rename it to Alpha 1. Sorry. Alpha 1. And open the material. Click on color, go in color channel and create a gradient texture. It's uh, really straightforward. And change a gradient type from 2D U to 2 d circle. Now we need to animate this or uh, this texture, this gradient texture. So what we can do here, just create, take white node, near the black one. So as you can see here, and now right click on gradient and go in user interface and show sub channel. And now as you can see here, we have all these uh, information in front of us. So make it animate. Uh, animated so first we need to create a keyframe so how we can create a keyframe so if you click on this keyframe button so it's not gonna work so make sure you just hold control and click on the uh, left side button small button uh, of the text so we'll just click on that as you can see here when we click here it's turned into a red color so it means it's gonna create a new keyframe so now Take it to 90 frame or wherever you want, so it depends on your animation speed. So we just take now white to the end of the color tab and also do the same with our uh, black one. So now hold control and click on this button again. And as you can see here, our Scene is, uh, our texture is animated now just go down and add a little bit turbulence so maybe six. no that's too much so let's try with 30 so that's looking okay for me now next thing just take this uh, copy this texture copy shader and paste inside the alpha channel paste shader so now what we need to do just go in uh, material tab click on material tab and change projection from spherical to uh, frontal so here we go very frontal so as you can see now play your uh, what we say play your animation so Set your, uh, what we say, set your 3D object where you want. So if please uh, make sure you don't zoom in. Otherwise, if you create a assign generate UV coordinate, so your uh, 3D object gonna delete from the part where which one is hiding. So make sure you zoom out all uh, where you can see all your 3D objects, sorry for my English. So, here you can see, so we just need to look at this figure, and, okay, that's looking great, now, we just, what we can do here, just right click on your material tag, and generate UV coordinates, so, it's the main, this is the main step, don't forget it. So, as you can see here, now you can move, anywhere so it's gonna work with your all video objects so next thing just duplicate this alpha 1 material and change it to alpha 2 
Now, what we can do here, we just need to simply change, do little bit changing in our gradient texture. So just create a new node next to the white one and change the color to a black. So now we need to reanimate this uh, new black node. So how we can do that? Just simply after creating the white uh, black node, just simply hold control and click on this small dot. Now it's already animated. So just go to the 90 frame. There we go. Now take your black new node on the end of the tab and or, uh, again click on hold control and click on gradient button. This small button now your alpha channel is already animated. So when you hit play, so as you can see here, it's a little bit we need to be changing because it's really slow because 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 now last time okay so that's what we want so that's looking great now next thing just assign this alpha channel also to your what do you say your 3d object so we don't need to do any changing in projection it's okay with that so now we have our alpha channel two alpha channel now next thing we need to create a node and we are going to use expresso if you don't know what is expresso it's a really powerful tool uh, for cinema 4d so you can do anything without any plugin if you know how to use expresso for so they just uh, separate the tag uh, inside the I don't know how can I explain so they just separate the tag so in programming tag here you find expresso just open it and now first thing we need to add uh, key matter key matter wave and next thing key group so key group so let's add a P group now connect our particle birth here with P group. So next thing, just click on P group and go in simulate thinking particle PP setting and just drag this particle group in your P group. So that's okay. okay. So next thing, just click on E matter wave. So there is main magic happen. So just we log this for now. So here we go. Just uh, in object tab, tab. So take your 3D object inside this object tab, and your UV map under the UVW, and go down and change birth type from count to show. If you change it to 10,000, maybe that's okay. If, as you can see here, if you hit play, so this happened, but it's not look really good. So next thing, next thing, we go in bird type, change it to a uh, from constant to texture, and copy your uh, alpha two texture, which we animated with the uh, three nodes. So copy this shader and paste here so if you hit play so as you can see here it's much less now so that's looking great but it's not look like a really just so it's, it's just a simple so we need to add some forces so open the express so you can do or everything the same thing inside any other version of Sanma 40. But what we need here, which is only released inside the R21, so it is that a force object, P force object, where you can add any uh, forces from the outside of the expresso. So this is the main effect which gives it really 
good and random look so we can add two forces one wind and the other one is a uh, turbulence so now we also add a p group or uh, sorry p path so we connect with our force first we add a wind here so just hold your wind layer and drag into the p force object so uh, as you can see here now just we need to set it that. and add a wind speed change it from 5 to 40 i think now if we play as you can see here it's already looking great so take a little bit down 30 percent so it's looking really awesome and we add a turbulence little bit 22 percent no we just move the turbulence open espresso and now we add a turbulence just drag and drop and also connect it with p4 and add a turbulence from 5 to 40 let's see the result So that's looking great. We add one more force. You can also use a for, uh, field force. It's really powerful, but I don't think so. I need uh, this inside of our, what we say. So you can use a tractor. It's really awesome. Fun thing. So we can reduplicate and like this and take our tractor here and change our tractor traction. So this way I think now increase the power of a tractor to thousand. So let me see what happens. Not gonna affect I think. Let's change it to ten thousand. So let's see something. Yeah, something going on. So as you can see here, you can play with a cool effect. You can create a cool effect. You can do a lot of stuff with this new feature. So we just remove it for now. We don't need a factor. Oh, sorry, a tractor. I'm really sorry. I'm really sorry. So now we need to render this particle. So how we can do that? This is the main issue. So we just go and simulate. Going thinking particle, create a TP geometry and in particle group do this, uh, do same like before, just go in TP settings and drag and drop this particle group inside the particle geometry. So now, next thing we can add a hair, uh, go in hair tag and click on render. So as you can see here when you render it so, so here you go here is your particle so but it's too less so we can add more particles so going p meter wave and increase the short from 10,000 to maybe one million uh, one lag Let's make it a little bit slow because it need to take a uh, rendering your particles. Uh, so let's see how it's going to So as you can see here, it literally bit look like uh, what do you say? Something like I, I don't know how can I describe. So you can create a new hair uh, material for give them more cool look and change the color and color from anything i change it it is something like a golden color gold light up make up talk a little bit gold Okay, so thickness. 
Okay, as you can see, it's already looking awesome. So we can change uh, one to one twice. So let's see. Let's make it more dense. So that's why we increase. If we just change it to one. So it's looking more cool. So, uh, so in the previous, uh, there is a two option that I will show you in this video, my previous video, in upcoming tutorial video. There is one um, where is all 3D object is gone and turned into particle, and there is another one where only the cover or something like cover move and uh, removes, and the uh, remaining 3D object. So how we can do that, just create a new material, any material, like I create a granite, or create a granite and apply it to your 3D uh, object and take it, uh, this material on the end of these two materials. So now, if we just turn off the, all these particles, Okay, now how we can go back. So that's uh, okay. So if we just clear it now, if we just display. So we put that. Uh, it just hit play. As you can see here, uh, there is one material is removed and the uh, other one is remaining. That's how I create that effect. So you can add a thickness or anything by using displacer, but it's looking great without anything. So, so again, one million. And let's do some cool rendering. Here we go, if we render it, so uh, as you can see here, it's looking great. So now, what we need to do is just add a bit more, we just remove the color and change it to uh, something like gold. And add a reflection. A reflection. Going here for now. Conductor and change it to gold. So now it is under it. Let's add a. It's here we need to remember the sky. So there we go. Let's give them more. Oh, it's only done well, but here we need. Okay. Compose it in. My camera if it under it again so it give you more good results. So as you can see here it's looking great so but I don't like train eyes here. So I here's something like uh, plastic and take it here. Right to here. So. so 
as you can see here, it's looking great. So we need to add a little bit of flux. Hanger. So now you can add more light or anything you want. So I hope you like this video. I hope you understand how we can create this cool looking effect. So thanks for watching. If you didn't subscribe my channel, subscribe it now. And bye bye.